As a quarterback in training, learning how to study film can make or break your career. Today, I'm going to talk about how I used to do it and how you should approach it coming up right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro, college football analyst, and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today, I want to talk about how you should study film. So many high school athletes that I deal with, and especially quarterbacks, don't fully understand how important film study is. So today, we're going to talk about it. But first, if you like quarterback play, if you like the game, if you love football, if you like learning about all the nuances of football from the offensive side of the ball, then you need to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. That way, you'll get notified every time we have new content coming out. Please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the videos that I'm putting out, and give me a thumbs up if you're ready to learn about the position. And finally, don't forget to share this video out to all your friends, to your teammates, to your coaches, and let's help some people improve in the game of football. So let's talk about film. When you're a young football player, learning how to study film is incredibly important. The one big mistake that I think all young football players make, and it's when they watch the game and when they watch film, is they watch the ball. And it's all cool to see what happens on a play, how it evolves, and the final outcome. But what you're really trying to do when you're watching game film of an upcoming opponent is you're trying to study what they're doing on defense or offense, depending on which side of the ball you're on, and how you can attack it and how you can adjust to it. And so I'm going to talk about my style of watching film today. Now, that said, for all of you coaches out there, I know a lot of coaches that would literally watch so much film, they wouldn't leave their offices because they were studying film all night long. They had air mattresses literally in their office. That's too much. When you watch that much film, you can get lost in what you're watching. It's kind of like repeating the same word over and over and over and over, and eventually it loses its meaning. And so there is a right amount of film to watch, but having to watch so much film that you're sleeping in your office, too much. That's busy work. And it, it's really, it comes down to a control issue thing. If you think that watching it for the 200th time is going to give you the answers and you haven't gotten them by now, then you're probably not studying film right. My process is this, and I've talked to a lot of quarterbacks with this. I've talked to several coaches about this, and it seems to be a similar prof process for a lot of guys who are doing it. I like to watch opposing teams and what they do on defense in a full game fashion the first time through. I watch every snap, first down, second down, third down, all of it as it evolves during the game. That way I get a sense for the team that I'm about to play. And I'll watch three or four games. Now, which games do I watch? Most recent games is obviously the easy answer for that because I want to see what they're doing most recently because that gives me a lot about personnel and where their scheme has evolved to recently. But that's not the only answer, because what if, and in high school there's so much variation in offense, what if they only played wing T or single wing te teams and we're running a spread offense? And so I want to watch similar offenses to what I'm running. If I'm running a spread system, I want to watch spread system teams against that defense to see how they adjust, to see what coverages they're calling, see what kind of fronts or what kind of pressure I'm getting out of it. And I want to watch those teams that are similar in the most recent games closest to when I'm going to play that team. So in terms of selecting games, you can also go back to last year's film. If you play this opponent year in, year out, you have the same coaching staff. You can go back to last year's games to see how they schemed you, whether they were successful, whether they weren't successful, what you think they're going to change. In high school, talent can vary from year to year so much that personnel-wise, going back a year doesn't help as much, and the same for college. But scheme-wise, and the way a coach thinks, going back a year to your previous films will definitely help. So what am I looking for when I'm watching film? I'm looking for personnel. That's one. I want to see, do they have a stud defensive end? Do they have a couple of great corners? Are they weak at safety? Are their linebackers good? Where can I take advantage? Where are the weak spots in their personnel? Where are they super strong at personnel? Try to project out where my offense, my team is going to match up well against their team. And so as I start watching this full game first, I will watch the ball for play one. 
see what the play is, see what happens, see how it evolves, and then see what becomes of that play. Then I'll rewind it back and I'll go over all of the differentiators. Is it a four-man front? Is it a three-man front? Even odd, if you use that language. Is it an under? Is it an over? What kind of secondary coverage are they playing? Are they putting any pressure on? And so I'll literally be running that film back every time, looking at different nuances of what they're doing on defense. Then I'm going to look for coverage. What kind of coverage are they playing? What kind of alignment do they have? What kind of keys are they giving me? What kind of tips or tells are they giving me that under center, I can get on the field and say, oh, inside alignment, I know he's playing man. Oh, he's off looking into the ball. I know he's playing zone. They're going to have tells. They're going to play certain defenses certain ways. Do they disguise? What disguise leads to what eventual coverage for them? All of these things are tells that you can figure out from opposing teams. And you want to be able to pick those up as you watch film. So again, you're going click, 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 running it back, letting it roll forward, running it back, letting it roll forward. And I start to kind of zone in to what this team does, what their personality is, what they like to call, what's their third down coverage, third and short, third and long. Get a sense, an overall sense of that by watching full game film. Then, if you have the access to this, it's fantastic. College and pro teams all have it. Um, a few high school teams have it. Cut-ups, down and distance, first and 10, second and 10, second and medium, second and short. Uh, you're going into third and short, third and medium, third and long, blitz downs, all of those things, breaking it down into the cut-ups and get a real sense for what type of team this is for every down and distance. What about coming out? What about middle of the field? What about in the red zone? What about on the goal line? And so you get a real sense of them from the cut-ups. Now, I do like to watch that full film first because you get the overall sense. Then the cut-ups breaks it down into that more granular. So I'll go back and I'll watch three, four, five games of film. And I will watch the whole thing through. Then I'll watch the cut-ups for each one of those games for each situation that we may face. And obviously, you can't do all this in the first night. You can't do it all in the second night. But I will make my film study mirror practice planning. I'll try to get all of my game-wide film study. should take about an hour to watch a game, depending on how many snaps there are, in the first night. So spend three, four, five hours the first night watching full game stuff. And then, if I have the time, I'll go through and watch coming out in first and 10, which is usually day one of practice. And then on night two, I'll go back and I'll watch second and long or third and long or whatever it is that you're going to practice on day two. And then you get into blitz downs, goal line, everything else on day three. And so go back through and watch it all like that. And if I can get ahead in film study, even better. But watch the game film preparing for practice the next day because what you're doing is you're getting an understanding of what they do. You're locking it into your mental picture and then you're executing on it the next day. And so you're building on your knowledge of what your opponent is going to be doing by studying film in that process. Then once I've done all that, I've gone through my cut-ups, I've gone through my full games, I will go back and I will watch specifically for our offensive sets, our offensive plays, how they match up against different defenses. And I will literally take a play and I will think third and long, here's our game plan for this week. What do we have in the game plan? And for everything that I've got down and distance, field position, the whole nine yards that matches up with the clip I'm watching, I will literally mentally go through every play against the film clip that I'm watching at the time. What if we run four verts here? What if we run Dover here? What if we run flank or drive here? What if we run smash here? All those things versus the clips that I'm seeing. So now I've prepped. I understand this team. I have a granular understanding of what they're doing because I've gone through and I've looked at all the cut-ups. And now I am overlaying what we're doing on offense with what they're doing on defense. And so I'm getting mental reps at our offense versus what they are doing on defense. And so when it comes game time, this is part of that visualization process that I told you guys about, about how you should learn a new offense. And I'll put that card right up here so that you guys can go back to it. But visualizing what we're going to do on offense versus that film clip, that style of defense. And so once I've got all that put to bed, if it didn't take too long for the film study and I've got extra time, I will go back again 
and watch those full games. And that, that will now cement my thinking. It will cement our offensive expectations going into a game. And it will confirm or potentially it will get rid of any myths that I've kind of made up during the week about what they're doing on defense. And so I'll have a really solid understanding of what they're doing. I will really have a really solid understanding of what kind of team they are, what kind of flow they use during a game. I will have the granular understanding of what they're doing in specific situations. And then I'll be able to cement it back in with the overall picture one more time. And that's what I was talking about with coaches that sleep in their office. If you haven't found it by the third or fourth time that you've gone through film, then you're probably not going to find it. That first time you get a sense, that second time you pick out keys, that third time you lock those keys in, you might find some more nuances, some more tells. And that fourth time overall, you lock it in as a visual picture and maybe get the spoiler here and there that gives you something to think about. But after that, you've got it locked in. And yeah, that's a lot of film study, but it's what you need to fully understand that game. If you're a young football player, young quarterback, that's how you should be studying game film. It is study. It is homework. You should treat football the same way that you treat your classes in terms of doing the homework to get it done. Just being physical, being a gifted athlete isn't enough. Playing the position of quarterback or any other position for that matter. You also need to study the game. You need to understand it and you need to put the work in to be as good as you can possibly be. Just wanted to pass that along. Hopefully that helps you understand how to study game film to prep for an upcoming game. We're going to have time this fall, so start practicing watching game film. Break it down in that regard. If you don't have cut-ups, go back through and make sure you notice the change. Is it first and 10? Is it second and six? Is it third and four? Is it third and nine? But look at the chains, find down a distance, and then start overlaying your offense into those situations to see how your plays play out against that defense. If you do that, you'll be much better prepared for a game and you will play a ton better. So that's game film study. Please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring that bell. That way you'll get notified when we have new stuff coming out that can help you with the game. Give me a thumbs up if you understand how to watch film better now and leave me a comment down below. If you have a process for watching game film that works for you, I'd love to hear it. Let's talk about it. Also, it'll help some of the other people that come into the site, watch these videos to help them improve at their game. Also, please share this out. I'd appreciate it. Get it out to your teammates, coaches, friends, family, everybody. But let's try to build this channel up. I appreciate everybody that's been watching and helping out with this channel. And I want to try to blow this channel up to help as many young football players across America as I can. Today, I was quarterback training. Hopefully, we improve your football skills and we'll keep getting better at the QB position. <laughs>